to Scott Dunger's English. I'm Scott Dunger and today is the 15th edition. If you don't believe me, believe the board because the board only knows facts. The board never lies. And we're going to be starting with a phrasal verb, then moving across to our idiom, then to our word down to our battle of words, which I'll explain more about later on. And then we're going to finish off with the topic of the edition, which I'll be giving my opinion on. Now, before looking at all of this, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone out there who has liked, shared, watched, and subscribed to the channel so far. Your support is greatly appreciated from wherever you watch the channel from around the world. I can't thank you all enough for your amazing support. I hope you all enjoy and learn something new from the 15th edition. Let's begin with our phrasal verb for this edition, which is knock up, knock up. And our definition is to make a woman pregnant, to make a woman pregnant. For example, do you know who knocked up Kimberly? Do you know who knocked up Kimberly? Our phrasal verb for this edition is knock up. It's time to look at our idiom for this edition, but first a reminder to those who don't remember what an idiom is. An idiom is a fixed expression that we have in the English language that is metaphorical, not literal. And our idiom here is to hit the jackpot. To hit the jackpot. And our definition is to achieve great success. To achieve great success. For example, Joey hit the jackpot last week when he found out that he got promoted. Joey hit the jackpot last week when he found out that he got promoted. Our idiom for this edition is to hit the jackpot. Let's look at our word now, which is yummy. Yummy. And as you can see, it is an adjective. Let's look at our definition, which is extremely pleasing to the sense of taste. Extremely pleasing to the sense of taste. For example, these crisps are yummy. These crisps are yummy. These ones, to be precise. I've nearly finished, but don't worry, I have more. Our word of this edition is mm. yummy. That's right, people, get your arms up. It's battle of words time, and that means one thing and one thing only. This means we're about to go into battle with words in English language that are similar but not the same. And while words here are win versus earn versus gain. So let's, let's start off with win. We have is usually associated with succeeding with a certain task or obtaining a physical prize for your efforts. It can also refer to victory. So it's usually associated with succeeding with a certain task or obtaining a physical prize for your efforts. It can also refer to victory. For example, Tony wins an award every year. Tony wins an award every year. Our next one is gain, and we have is when you acquire something as an increase or addition. Is when you acquire something as an increase or addition. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm gaining weight. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm gaining weight. No comments in the comment section. Okay, no comment in the comment section. Our last one is earn, to obtain or to get something in return for one's personal efforts. To obtain or to get something in return for one's personal efforts. My uncle earns a lot of money in his new job. My uncle earns a lot of money in his new job. Our battle of words for this edition are win versus earn versus gain. Last but not least is our topic of the edition, which is do you think people should have plastic surgery to enhance their appearance? Do you think people should have plastic surgery to enhance their appearance? 
From my point of view, it's quite a simple answer, but I'm going to expand on it as well, and it is no. I don't think it's at all necessary for a person to have plastic surgery. If it is life-threatening surgery, then absolutely. If it threatens your life, then absolutely have surgery. However, if somebody is choosing to have surgery to enhance their appearance, I'm against it. I think it's a waste of money. I think it shows the vanity of people that they are after a perfect body, a perfect physique. But what is perfect? Let me ask you that. What is perfect? Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Every person in this world finds somebody attractive for different reasons. If that is facial features, if that is body, but we all find beauty in different ways. Is it because the person's had plastic surgery? Or is it because of their natural beauty? Could be a bit of both. Could be more of one or more of another. In my case, I always prefer natural beauty. And natural beauty is the one that I would always look out for in someone because I think that person has nothing to hide, nothing to be ashamed of. However, if you have plastic surgery, who are you doing it for? Are you doing it for people or are you doing it for yourself? I think many people who have plastic surgery do it for themselves to make themselves look younger. The reality is, is that we all get old. We all get old, we all have wrinkles. I have many, I've been told many times, but I'm not gonna have plastic surgery to remove them. This is who I am. I don't think I'll ever feel the need to have plastic surgery. I would love to hear what you have to say about the topic of the edition in the comments section below, so don't hesitate, I'd love to hear from you. Also, about what we have had a look at here today, don't hesitate, I would love to hear from you. I hope to see you all on the 16th edition of Scott Dunger's English, but wait, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next edition of Scott Dunger's English very, very soon. Bye-bye.